Go ahead, Raleigh. Hi there, my name is Raleigh Holmes. I'm here to tell you about something I'm really excited about, a new game company being started by my parents, Jane Jensen and Robert Holmes. They're gonna run it from right here on their farm in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. You know, they met while they were working at Sierra Online together. First they did Gabriel Knight's Sons of the Fathers, and then later The Beast Within. More recently, my dad and I had done the music for two of Jane's games, Grey Matter and Dying for Daylight. I was hoping to find Jane and snag her for an interview. Uh, let's try the barn. Right this way. People always ask me what it was like growing up with a mystery writer as a stepmother. It was really... Jane? Is that you? We're filming. <laughs> it was really interesting because uh, her library was full of all these books on philosophy, religion, uh, powers of the mind, autopsies, poisons. Yeah, I remember finding myself outside her office door in the middle of the night. Not even quite sure how I got there. Just listening to her computer keys. Um, are we looking for Jane? Yeah, uh, she should be right upstairs, this way. Um, right around the corner here. Uh, no, don't film that, don't! <sighs> okay. Yeah, right this way, up the stairs. You good? Oh, there you go. So here's what Jane probably won't tell you about the new studio. It's been a really long time since she's been able to write the kind of game she's so good at. Adventure games with twisted plot lines, off-the-wall subject matter, games with the depth of a novel. And not some crappy beach read either, but a serious novel, like The Da Vinci Code. <laughs> well, she's not that good. Anyway, that's why I'm so excited that she finally decided to start her own studio so she can not only write those kind of games, but control how they turn out. That's where this brilliant idea of my dad's comes in. Oh my God. Back up, back up, back up. So, Dad, tell us about this. <clears throat> tell us about the new. Guys, I got something in my throat. Could someone please get me something to drink? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. We're good? Okay. So, Dad, uh, tell us about this new CSG model. Well, it's actually based on organic farming. In organic farming, uh, CSA is a community-supported agriculture group. And if you're a member of a CSA, you sign up for a year and you get a basket of fresh fruit and vegetables every week. So we figured, since we live on a farm, why not have a CSG? So that means it's community-supported gaming. So as a member of our CSG, you get access to every game that we produce during the year, and you also get great visibility into concept art and production process, and you get to be a, a great part of our feedback loop and help us make decisions on games. It also gives us the financial security to make the games that we're passionate about, and it gives us a tight connection to you, our CSG members. That is a great idea. Uh, you know, I give Jane all her best ideas. <laughs> and I'm betting you'll be doing the music for the games as well. Absolutely, as will you. <laughs> That's true, as will I. Scarlet Furies to the rescue, no doubt. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for the interview. Let's go try and find Jane. Okay. You good? Yeah. So, have you talked to Jane yet? No, actually, um, I need to talk to you about that. Uh, is that? <sighs> nah. Hey guys, okay, today we are really going to talk to Jane, I promise. Sorry about yesterday, I totally forgot about the moon. Uh, Dad said she might be here at the track enjoying the weather, but 
I don't see her. Um, it looks like she was here. So, Jane, finally, tell everybody about the games you'll be doing this year with the new studio. Well, actually it's been difficult to make up my mind. There's so many games I've been dying to make. So we thought, why not let our CSG members help us pick our very first studio game? That's pretty awesome. Is Grey Matter 2 on the list? You know, the music in that was pretty brilliant. Yes, it was. Thank you. Um, Grey Matter 2 is definitely on the list. I have a fun idea for that one. But there are several other really strong contenders. For example, you know, I've always loved Jane Austen and mm -hmm. Thomas Hardy and all those great old English novelists. Well, I've always wanted to do a game set in that period. That's awesome. You had me at Jane Austen. Sign me up. Oh, anything else? There's a third concept called Mobius, and it's got that mix of history and fiction, glamorous real-life locations, and an intriguing plot hook. I, I think Gabriel Knight fans will really like that one. Really? What, where is it set? What are the basic themes? Come on, Jane. I mean, people are going to want to know about the game, right? <clears throat> okay. So Mobius is about this guy who's hired by a mysterious wealthy benefactor to investigate a series of events. Not big events, mind you, just happenings. So while this guy's investigating, he starts to realize that all of these events... <gasps> It's coming. <laughs>